Well, I'm in the mood for some masochism, so I figured we'd do another Resident Evil mod. Specifically, we have Resident Evil Mortal Knight. This is the uh, rebirth of it, the, the remake. There's three episodes, episode one, two, and three. One has been remade so far, or ported. I think one's been remade, and two and three have been ported, but not remade yet. occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was it's later all custom stuff. It's very nice. Disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the International Enterprise Umbrella Incorporated. This has for custom cuts. Bio scenes. weapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department special star. I don't know if this is a custom cut. I don't know. In the, the case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Feels though this is like regular RE2 intro. I like never watched the regular RE2 intro. Raccoon City. Another victim of the government's corruption. Another victim of Umbrella's ambition. Another lost home for decent people. I don't know. Most of Raccoon City was corrupt. Have you seen all the pieces of paper laying around? It all started all in the corrupt. Valley Mountains. In a forgotten mansion in the depths of the forest. The Stars teams died because of their unwillingness to believe what their eyes were telling them. The creatures of that cursed residence were strong. And the darkness even stronger. They needed a powerful weapon. Two members Especially of the against USS living things clean every trace of umbrella. Their mission was successful. And the forest burned with the mansion. No one knew what happened there. No one knew of Umbrella's guilt. This one's gotta be custom, right? Raccoon City. I mean, it's hard to tell. An ordinary American Midwest town. An ordinary. No, it's gotta be. That's like Resident Evil Three right there. I'm pretty sure that's good somewhere in Resident Evil Three. Who became animals? It's gotta be custom. Extremely well done, custom. I'm pretty sure it's Umbrella, custom. The world's largest international enterprise. William Birkin developed the G virus in Umbrella's underground lab, and in the process, he became a monster. A monster that caused the spread of the virus throughout the city. Telling you it was rats. As the city fell, the virus Granted, evolved. he did kill the guy carrying the stuff, which caused the rats. Maybe it was him. Maybe. Umbrella's best agent, Hunk, killed Birkin and acquired a G-Virus sample. But the sample had been contaminated. Technically, he didn't kill him. The government <laughs> he didn't kill him. The city with an atomic he just got bomb. back up. But Umbrella used its influence to delay the strike. One of their satellites had discovered that Sherry, daughter of William Birkin, was still alive in the city's police station. Umbrella thought that Dr. Birkin may have infected the young girl with the virus, so a team from the USS was deployed with orders to secure Sherry Birkin. Once they completed their mission, the city would be incinerated. Green screen? Ah, more, more cutscenes. Um, I don't know if I can read that fast enough. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this RE3 room? Yeah, I cannot read these fast enough. I think it's RE3 news office, isn't it? Oh, 
What was the other guy's name? I got Davies. I, I, I wasn't paying too much attention to the names. One guy's Davies. Okay. Here, here we are in the game. I did a, uh, did a little test run. Not of, I, I just, like, ran to the... Technically, my test run, guy in front of our, our, our the, the guy, the guy's got a key. I got you. I got you. Please read the instruction manual, F9, exit. Uh, game is now randomized. Means every time you play, there are chances that you will not find some enemies. Cutscenes, oh, oh. My, my test run was in the old version where everything was broken and it ran in like the world's tiniest window. So, uh, hmm. Different, different cutscenes, really. Choices in the order which you go to different areas of RPD will affect what you have to face. Handgun, magnum, shotgun, grenade. Games be completed a minimum four times if you want to see every change. You turn by choices versus luck. Okay. So, huh. So, uh, the reason I'm doing this one and not the old one was because, <laughs> my in the old one, my machine gun was green and the zombies were see-through and it was, like, really broken. Also, if you, like, I did, I did get to this room in testing this before I started it. And you can skip all the cutscenes. If you skip the cutscenes, um, you don't get that piece of paper. The paper's lying over here on the floor. Because I, I went and picked it up and I saw, oh, good gameplay change. It's interesting. I didn't read it. Huh, that's interesting that the, the gun kind of, or not the gun, but the uh, paper kind of flies into your hands if you don't skip the cutscene. Uh, I think I've seen this image before. Yeah, those are good memories. As in Dark Biohazard 4. When Leon was spooky. Now in yeah, there's a couple guys that have some ammo. This was still in the uh, the original. I've never, I, I I've never really played these. I I played my little test run. I got to the precinct with only using like three shotgun shells. So uh, that's not gonna happen this time. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Let's go ahead and just combine everything. So, let, let's see how good I am at this game. Probably pretty bad. All my luck has been used up. All of it. We gotta, we gotta snake our way back to where Leon starts, and there's a key there now. We'll see if we can do it. Oh, there's some crawlers. Come on, you got Oh, there's more guys here now. Definitely more guys. We need that body. We need this body. Can I, like, circle around? It is a little fire, but I can. Let's see if we can get him over here. I managed to get back to the uh, the room with only using one shotgun shell here. I want to say he was probably pretty tight. If I can lower them all over here, that'd be very nice. Oh, I can. Except for the crawler. Oh, I got past the crawler. Did not get past that guy, though. Go, 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 go. We've done it. Okay, how are we doing? We're still in, like, green, I think. I don't know if uh, the blocks go away. I, I I was also in green condition when I got to the police precinct. Oh, yeah, yep. Oh, I want to come to life. That's right. Don't forget about that. Don't forget about that. Leave. Okay. So, there was a... Oh, operation report. Uh, G-Virus sample. This was the same as in the, uh, the old version. These resources available to delay the nuclear launch. You need to get, uh, she need to get Sherry. Is basically what's saying. Uh, the corpse. The there's more zombies now. The the virus has spread. More corpses. Um, they were able to capture some still images of Birkin. Uh, she is still alive and in the police department. Okay. Alpha team will be in the sewers. Omega team will get Birkin. Head to the extraction point. Nuclear missile will be launched at dawn. Oh, there are enemies here now. That's not good. <laughs> well, there weren't any enemies here the last time. How do I equip this? Okay, I just like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think it's dogs. What is that? It's blue. Is it water? What is this? Oh, it's a liquor. That's not a cutscene. 
Well, that, is this a this is a magnum? I don't I don't know if it's a magnum in like name only. I, I do this. Okay, three magnum shots for him. Is he dead? He's dead. All right, that's not a cutscene. There's my three bullets back. It's better than uh, the other that Resident Evil where there were like 700 zombies in here. I think you had something too, didn't you? Yeah, you had a vaccine. Eh? So most of this is the same. Other than that, that's cutscene here. No cutscene really. I want to say Davies pops up there, and I, I skipped it because I, you know, I didn't. I figured I'd you know, see it now. Uh, this guy needs to die. Can I, can I knife him? Eh, oh, that's a slow knife, but it worked. Oh, he's not dead. Not dead. And he's a special guy. He had him one last time. He did. And then there weren't any enemies until we got to, uh, like right down here, and there was a bunch of them. I shotgunned them. Yep, yep. A bunch of guys here. I think I can uh, aim up and get them. Oh, <laughs> triple kill. And there was health and a uh, shotgun shells here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all the same. Um, I don't know if I can get another triple kill. Maybe. Nah, no triple kill for me. I saw two of them over there. Just run by them. Guy's getting up. All right. So a thousand. Wait. Wait a second. This isn't where this goes. I was gonna bring up my past experience with this game, but this is this is completely invalidated that. I was gonna say, like three, four years ago, I played like version 1.8 of this mod, and I would always get to the bus, and uh, there'd be a cutscene where a bunch of zombies pop up, and I always died there. I never made it past the bus, but uh, this isn't the bus. This is RE3. This should be the save room. Is it? It is. Huh. This isn't even any, even like the old version, like the the test bot I ran through. It was still the the bus and everything. I I did the bus. And I was like, man, I can't believe I managed to get through the bus without dying this time. That was amazing. Um, I assume that's A B. That's probably green herb, right? Uh, let's go ahead and save, I guess. That's so weird. Unfortunately, only episode one of this mod is updated. The other two episodes, they're slated for later this year, but I think the mod author is working on a new mod, and I don't know if he will have time to update these. He may just move on to bigger and better things. Granted, I've never played the other two at all, so uh, I guess it won't really matter for me, right? Other than it may run worse. I think it's still using source next. That's what I'm using right now. Not poisonous. Or I'm not poisoned. They're also not poisonous, by the way. Uh, can I get a map out? Is there a map in this game? One of these buttons has to be map, right? I, I have a map button up there. Laboratory B4. Yeah, that's probably not right. Um, this leads back to... Oh, it doesn't make any sense anymore. I don't... Like, I know where this leads in RE3. This leads to uh, pharmacy. Do I want to go pharmacy or do I want to go back to the car? Or not the car, but you know, the, the warehouse. Is this the right? Yeah, I think this, I think it's the right one. What's the map look like now? Eh, it's more laboratory. I'm definitely not there. I wonder if the, do the doors change in between playthroughs? That would be super interesting. That would definitely warrant like one or two playthroughs. I mean, obviously more than one. Like. <laughs> uh, this is the bus. Okay, this goes to the police station. Then we want to check out the other way first because uh, if it's anything like the reg the old version, uh, cutscene happens and zombies spawn behind you. 
In which case, it will be very hard to uh, come back this way. So what is down here? It could be anything. Absolutely anything. Where is this? It's construction equipment? Is this still on the, I think it's still on the way to the pharmacy. I was kind of looking pharmacy-esque. Yeah, yeah, here's the pharmacy. So I think there was an like explosive barrel here, wasn't there? I think there used to be an explosive barrel there. There's no explosive barrels on RE2, though. Not that I remember. I'm pretty sure there's no explosive barrels. Alright. Now we're in the pharmacy. Good. There's zombies in there. Oh, zombies in the pharmacy. Oh, there's cop zombies in the pharmacy. You gotta get that knife around there, boy. You gotta do it. Like at all. Just a little bit. We're gonna get it. How can you keep hitting your knife on this wall? Just, just get the left hand out. Break out that left hand. Come on, zombie. You know you wanna come over here. I don't wanna waste a shotgun shell on him. He's like really stuck on that chair though. Oh wait, wait, maybe not, maybe not. Come on, just tilt a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, there we go. You come back here. You're like one stab away. Two stabs, three stabs, four stabs. Dead? Not dead. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Cop man. There he goes. Sheesh. Still fine. Hunk is a chunky boy. There's a zombie over here. Yeah, it's a lady zombie. These chairs are my bane. Stab her. Stab her. Get in the face. Get that face stab. Oh, she's dead from three. Good. Anything in the cabinets or anything? I don't... I don't really play RE3 all that... Okay, vaccine. I don't play RE3 all that much. I don't know where the items are. I know generally like where all the items are in RE2. Generally. RE3, not so much. Mainly because Nemesis is kind of a pain in the butt. It's locked, when you enter the password, yeah. Uh, it's a digit password? Where's the TV, okay, that's like 85, yeah, I know. Where's the TV remote? Can I search him? Actually, he's kind of like glitchy. No, I need the, the the TV remote, right? I don't wait. Computer, computer, tell me, tell me, computer. Did not tell me. Oh wait, password six two two three three. She had it. I don't know why she had it, but she did. Yeah, that's that's the zombie. Yes, it's six six. Two, two, three. No, wait, six, six, two, three, three? Was it six, six, two, three, three? Six, six, two, three. I'm always so awful. I'm so bad at remembering number sequences. Oh, it was only one six. Oh, that's what it was. I thought it was two sixes. I'm just so bad at that. Okay, so six, two, two. Three and three. Unlock. Now in RE three, like gas pipe breaks and there's zombies and whatnot in here. I don't think Nemesis pops up. Like this gas pipe breaks. It's already broken actually. This is this pan like post RE three? Is that an like what is that? It's like a bag. Side bag. Wait, really? Instant side bag. That's so good. I mean, that's totally worth coming in here for. Oh, Davies. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. There's no time for talking. No, we're kind of safe. Well, I guess generally not safe. What? What have you done? Davies. Are you come? Okay, there's a zombie here now. Where did my handgun? Did I put my handgun up? I put my handgun up, didn't I? Because I didn't have all that much ammo. 
Hey Davies, do you want to shoot this guy? Well, I guess we don't need to. He only took two bullets. All right. Well, oh my God, Davies, you let them in. Davies, you let them in. There's more of them somewhere. I hear them. To be honest, I didn't even know you could have like companions. Can I just leave and like Davies will follow? Oh yeah, he will. Oh, this is a good gun. <laughs> Did not realize the strength of this gun. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Davies, bob and weave. We gotta bob and weave, Davies. Wow, you really led them all to me, didn't you? Just like every single one of them. How much ammo do I have? Uh, that's about half my ammo so far. I mean, not that it's good gun. It's a good. Oh, this guy had bullets too. Sweet. Yeah, I wasn't checking all the bodies. I should have been checking all the bodies. All right. Um, are we safe now? Yeah, we're safe. 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 I just wanted to help you complete your mission. Set in England. What what happened in England? Oh my god, it's another pharmaceutical company. <laughs> Not like a like some sort of evil organization, just it's 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 more pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Walker and Jones. All right, well, I guess I'll keep an eye out for Walker and Jones if they're uh, conniving. I don't know. Um, the zombies usually don't get back up after you machine gun them. Normally they stay dead. What would have been much funnier if he implied that I killed them all through, like, I, I'd machine gun all the civilians to death. <laughs> Alright, so we should, uh, let's go ahead and swap out this for this. Put that up. Not gonna save. Only got the two. Don't want to risk it. So we're gonna sprint by the good old uh, bus here and hope for the best. Shotgun, maybe? I may need a shotgun. I may need to blow some heads off here. See on how this goes. Tell me your secrets. See, all the zombies, all the zombies coming from behind you. All the zombies stand up, sneak on by, sneak on by. Yes. <laughs> I've learned. I've learned how to sneak. Anything in this bag? No. I don't know, was there anything on this bus? I don't think there was anything on this bus. At this point, I was just like so elated that I snuck past them. I didn't really pay too much attention. I think there's like a million more guys out here, though. Assuming it's the same street. Yeah, yeah, there's still a million guys out here. Ah, oh, there's dogs, too? Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that's not great. Oh, that's not great at all. You threw dogs in here? Did you have to throw dogs in here? See, I'm gonna get like combo by zombies and dogs and crawlers. Since when were there supposed to be dogs here? Who added the dogs? Run! You gotta run. You gotta run. So close. Oh my god, he's inside. He's inside. I didn't think they'd add dogs. Downstairs. What? What am I at? Am I at red? I'm only at yellow. It's a victory! I thought I was gonna have to do Davies all over again and I was about to kill myself. And I signed up for the masochism, but I, I didn't want it. Ah, oh, there's a guy here! Go, 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 go. Get inside. Thank you. Alright, now I gotta do this next part. <laughs> In the demo, there's, a, there's another part before we get a save. There's a lady we must play as next. 
There's just some lady. Oh, that's a different text. Last time she was like a reporter or something, and she was like, oh, what happened here? Now she, uh, now she apparently calls the explosion. And we need to run, because a uh, million zombies again. Run, lady! My controller only works so well. Go, okay. We snuck in here, and now there's dogs we have to kill. <laughs> Alright, limited ammo. Yep, limited ammo, limited health. Kill dogs. Okay, so we don't have all that much ammo. The dogs do drool, and it's amazing. I don't even know if they did that in the regular game. Gotta, get him. Gotta stab the dog in the kneecap. Show him who's boss. Okay, there we go. So, we have successfully killed the dogs. Is there ammo over here? I didn't even go over here. Because, uh, oh, that can go through this box. Interesting. No, in, uh, in, in the, it's not the demo, but the, the old version, there's a door and she goes like, you gotta, kill, you gotta kill the dogs first. Yeah, yep, locked door. Okay, so she's gonna stand here now. Yeah, she, she's talking about a scoop. That's no different. She was a reporter lady, originally. And then we're back to Hunk. And the, there, I saved here. This is where I, I stopped my escapades. Vaccine. Bullets. I'll take bullets. It's a lot darker now, though. Old fountain, something right in here. Yep, you need the unicorn. Is the ladder down? Ladder's not down. Ladder wasn't down in the other one, but you know, you never know. That's actually, I only got two, I actually got more of them last time. Where's your just both T? That's so many key cards. So many key cards. Save my progress. I, I think some great things have happened here. Some great things. 